inspiring teachers over the years, this may be one of the sweetest, most selfless stories you'll ever hear. This is a letter from a viewer named Dina. Dear Ellen, my four-year-old daughter Lila is very sick and desperately needs a kidney transplant. We looked all over the country and couldn't find a match. It turns out Lila's match was right in front of us, a teacher at her preschool. Teachers are everyday heroes, but Beth Batista truly goes above and beyond. How do you possibly thank someone for saving your child's life? I would love for Beth to meet one of her biggest inspirations, you. Sincerely, Dina. And I want to meet her, too. So from Madison, Wisconsin, please welcome Dina and Beth. First of all, I'm glad you wrote the letter. And this is a huge thing you're doing. So why did you decide to do this? Well, I saw a post on Facebook from my co-teacher. And I just something grabbed me from that post. And it said that they were desperately seeking a kidney donor. And... I just knew I had to call in and get tested. So you got tested, and how did you find out that she was going to be a match? Well, it, first of all, it was crazy because we had people getting tested from California to Virginia, everywhere in between. Nobody was a match. Beth wasn't even our daughter's teacher at the time when she started getting tested, and they randomly got put in the same classroom this fall. So the universe just yeah. converged to make yeah. it happen. And um, I got called in. And they said, oh, she's on her way, but in the meantime, we got you a present, because um, you've been through so much this year, and, you know, you've been doing such a great job. And I said, why are you getting me a present? I should be giving you guys a present. You're taking care of my kids every day. And I opened the present, and then that's when I saw the note. And the note said what? The note said, I may just be her teacher now, but soon a little piece of me will be with Lila forever. I'm Lila's kidney donor. I mean, come on. It was amazing. It really is. I mean, and I say this, like I said in the intro, about teachers all the time. You're amazing, you know, that you choose this to do for your career. But it's another thing to give up your kidney is just such a selfless thing. And Lila is, you know, she's not feeling, she's backstage right now. She's, she's having a, a bad day. Yeah, okay. we have good days and bad days. Right. Yeah. She has to be, uh, she's backstage. Yeah. Right now. Hi, sweetheart. Aww. Yeah. Hi. Hi. <laughs> So, um, so she has to be uh, older to, how old does she have to be? She, well, they have to make sure that her disease is under control before right. they put the new kidney in because right. we want her to have a good outcome. Right. Okay. She has a favorite princess, I hear. She does. Um, when we were in the hospital, we watched the movie Brave every day. She was in a coma for three weeks, and I would put the movie on every day and talk to her about how being brave doesn't mean that you're not scared. It means that you're scared, but you do something anyway. Exactly. And that's what she was doing every day, um, by necessity. And then once she woke up from her coma, we watched it every day. She asked for it all the time. Well, we have a gift for her. And <gasps> oh, oh, my goodness. Goodness. Guy, I mean, like really busy guy, but look at this. Ellen, what's up? It's Aaron from Green Bay. Hope you remember me. Uh, I miss you so much. Can't wait to see you. I hope you're doing incredible. Beth, what can I tell you? I was so moved when I heard about your story and the incredible act of selflessness you're doing for Lila. It's, it's an amazing thing, and, and I'm so glad you're getting the opportunity to spend time with my friend Ellen and to get your story out there. I want to do something special for you and your family, so I want to invite you and your family to Green Bay to watch a game. We'll take good care of you. Get you on the sideline before the game. Say hello. And enjoy a great taco win. Hoping the best for you guys. Can't wait to see you at Rambo. And uh, Ellen, I love you. Please, please stay in touch. Come back, Thank and we so want to hear everything that happens, and, and we just want to follow the whole progress. 